Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to update to iOS 15 on your iPod Touch. Let me just show you this real quick. If I go to settings, and then general, and I'm out, you can see I'm running iOS 15.1. And I don't know what really changed with iOS 15, but like if I go to the home screen here, you can see if I tap on a plus, I have all these are widgets. Uh, some other stuff as well. Uh, settings, let's see, I mean, I'm just going to show you that this is iOS 15. We do have the app library here as well, so if I just go to the app library, these are iOS 14 features. I don't actually know what was new in iOS 15. The point is I do have iOS, oh, there we go, focus. This is new with iOS 15. You can see I am on iOS 15. So it's really simple. You just need to go to settings, general, and software update. Now, here's the deal, right? You may get this error here. If you get this error here, you need to make sure you're on the Wi-Fi. If you still get this error, what you need to do is you need to unjailbreak your iPod Touch. How do you do this? What we need to do is go to the jailbreak tool you use to jailbreak and then unjailbreak. Your previous owner of the iPod Touch may have jailbroken your device if you're still getting the issue and you're like, oh, I didn't jailbreak before. And so what you need to do is you'll need to look up the jailbreak utility available for your iPod. Most likely it's Checkrain. So I'll leave my Checkrain jailbreak tutorial in the description. Jailbreak with Checkrain and then unjailbreak right after and then you sh uh, this will work. And once it works, you can see here, iOS 15.2 is available for download. Again, this is an iPod Touch, shout out to the Akash converters here. So yeah, now if this doesn't show up still, what you can try is downloading delayed software updates. So maybe for some reason this software updates page is glitched, you can install unsigned iOS updates and I have made a tutorial on that. I'll do that one in the description, follow that tutorial, come back to the software update page and then you should see the uh, latest iOS firmware or the ones slightly before. So let's say 15.2 is the latest, you'll see 15.1 but you'll still see iOS 15, so you just want to uh, download that profile, and then, uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. So, really, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.